the state says that when the temperature is below 32, we can take as many people as need housing. But once the weather warms up, we have to keep our numbers down to 82 because the lady from the state came last night and she saw we had 123 people in here and we should have only had 82. The state is not providing the services. Well, they, they're not providing the services, but when we move, because we have more than 80 clients, we have to be certified. And actually, all of, all of the shelters in the city are going to have to be certified by the state. That's something new they're doing. And it's basically to, to help them with um, tracking how many homeless people are in the area and how many government dollars they can get, you know, from that. It's all about the money, as far as I can see. But, um, you know, and, and they also gave us some operational, not operational money, but um, money to, re to renovate this, this building because it used to be a um, dairy, burned dairy. So once they did that, then that kind of put it in because of the certification. So they're gonna start, you know, like monitoring our records. You know, we have to do independent living plans with things that the House of Mercy never did. Nobody ever came and looked at records. Nobody ever, I mean, we didn't have to do, I mean, they did notes, but it, the state didn't make us do notes. Or anything. They're doing that because they are giving money now? And because they're certified, we're certified, mostly because of the certification. Yeah. So if you do not have that certification, does that mean they have to close down? Yeah, if they don't certify, you can't operate as a homeless shelter. So we're kind of going through that process right now. The whole place, just as you said, can house 88 people. 82. 82. Mm -hmm. Okay. 82. And so far, the people I've seen are even getting to 82. And there are a lot of people who are still on the street who yeah. wants to come here. Mm -hmm. And if they don't have a place to stay and you want them to go back. Well, they have, have they just, and they just closed three temporary shelters. They, they closed? closed? They closed, well, Reach Shelter, St. Joseph's, <coughs> and Dimitri House, they're only open during the winter months because that's how they they operate. So all of those people... Um, they they have to be housed or and some of them like to stay on the street. Some people don't even they don't like to stay in the shelter Yeah, so there's some people who like to live on the street um, But the other thing is a lot of the, uh, the other shelters have openings because everybody wants to come here. It's new It's you know, we, we don't have as strict rules as some of the other shelters have, you know um, You know, we have rules, but we are more we are, we are based more on compassion than you know rules and things like that so we err on the side of compassion rather than do it do it this way and that way you know so, and sometimes that bites us because we you know we err on a com compassion and somebody you know does something you know crazy. they're fighting crazy and you know and then we have to ask them to leave but then a week later if they come and apologize and act better we let them back in you know they may act up again. So depending on, we have some people that like banned forever. They can't ever come back here because they may have brought a weapon in here or hurt somebody in here. Or we have some, some people that may be banned for 30 days because they, you know, kick the chair or hit the wall, punch the hole in the wall or something like that. So it just depends. It depends. And some people that live here have been here for years. And so um, we have about three people like that. Some people can't be housed because of their behavior problems or their mental health and we're the only ones that will take them in or accept them you know or that they'll work with